Hey YouTube, it's Alicia here and I wanted to come and do this video because I probably won't be able to do a video this afternoon due to me um, having going to the dentist and everything. Yeah, I know I go to a dentist a lot, but I will uh, tell y'all about that at a later date and why. It is 9.52, so let's get started. So, one of the things I wanted to come and talk about is the following. I wanted to come and talk about Last Night Raw. I think Last Night Raw, this is just me overall when it comes to the show. Um, ooh, let me just put it like, it was okay, but not okay. And by what I mean is like, when it started the show, you got Seth Rollins, AOP, both of them, and you got Buddy Murphy. Then you have Kevin Owens and Samoa Joe. And then they go, they going, it's just two of you, da 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 da. Here comes out the Viking Raiders. I thought that was a nice pick, but putting their titles on the line last night, no, I knew. As soon as Seth Rollins said him, him and Buddy Murphy versus um, the Viking Raiders, I'm going, what? What the heck they talking about? And so to get it to me to say the following, I thought it was just uh, pointless and thing. Now, I don't tell you, that Rey Mysterio match was pretty good, but I still say, and I will stand by it, because the Universal title belt was on the line, Vega, and I'm saying it, Vega should have been banned from ringside. Okay, Andrade um, contained the title belt thanks to Vega getting in Rey Mysterio away. Ray is respectful in everything. And y'all know Ray is not going to put her hand, put her hand on her. If he was going to have her out there, then I felt like one of the divas should have been out there with Ray. That's my thing. All right, one of the divas that you're not featuring a lot. Hmm, uh, hold up. You got a whole arm list you can choose from. That's that. Now, that's with that. Now, this little thing with um, Becky Lynch and um, Oscar, that it was it was a pretty good match, and Becky ended up getting a um, getting a pin, getting a win over Kyrie Singh and everything. But I felt like Oscar should have not been sitting on no apron on one of the. Um, bit on the post is not to block her from doing her moves and stuff like that. That wasn't called for it. And really and truly, uh, somebody need to get them a translator, another translator, for we can start understanding what she, what is they talking about when they talk about because all we know is they speaking in their native tongue. And half of us can understand and half of us can't. I don't understand it at all when they speak in their native tongue. And for the love of God, can you stop putting the purple lipstick on Oscar? It's just not it's not pleasing. It's not pleasing. Um, let's see. Charlotte Flair is talking about how she's going to win the women's um, battle royal. And I'm going to tell y'all. My thing is, I'm, I'm, I'm going to expect um, the top seven wrestlers, female wrestlers, I'm the name, that might be the one that you need to be looking at. I would say look at Sarah Logan, look at Liv Morgan. Um, I promise you, it's going to be a return, and I bet you that return is Naomi in the fire, um, Tamina, Nia Jax. Oh, let me see. Natty and uh, it's going to be a surprise return. I say at least three surprise returns will be in the top Um, seven will be in the top. But do I feel like Charlotte might be in the top? Yeah. 
So, let me ask y'all this. If y'all remember a couple of months ago, back on my, if you follow me on tw over on here and follow me on my Twitter handle, Alicia, Alicia Burton 8, um, then you know I post a lot of questions on my, on my Twitter. And y'all remember a couple of months back when we had the King of the Ring and I asked y'all a question. How would how would you feel about a queen of the ring and who do you think win? If you remember, I listed some names and all y'all said Naomi. Well, it looks like mommy spoke some truth for this next year. Alright. I don't know if they um because I follow some of the uh superstars and I know I follow Triple H and Stephanie. And I wonder, did they get that? information to do the uh, women's queen of the ring from my Twitter. Did they get that idea from my Twitter handle or is it just a coincidence? Okay. Alright. and Y'all, I'm going to keep saying it. I feel like Jerry, it's time for Jerry the King Lawler to hang up his um excuse me y'all hang up his commentary mic and stuff because yeah I, I like how he um commentate but then sometimes he's um mm, banal and rude when it comes to certain superstars and i have noticed it in the past month or so and um i'm gonna let me see i want to hear what y'all have to say say do y'all think jerry the key Lala should be replaced with somebody refreshed and new, or just leave him on commentary team. That's that. All right. Now, the big match I had to come and talk about. I, I mean, you know, you've been having three weeks straight. You've been having top superstars coming out doing Brock Lesnar sipping. All right. Last night, you had Ricochet. Ricochet kind of challenged him and... Ricochet kind of got destroyed, but I really say to I mean it's going to take a lot of wrestlers all at once to beat down Brock Lesnar, and y'all know Vince, that's Vince Golden Boy. You can't touch, you really can't touch him, cause like I said it years ago, and Roman Reigns has said it, boom. But yeah, now another thing is I want to come and talk about this Vince tag match. Now this Vince tag match. I will want to say is the following. The mixed tag match, I feel, is the following. That bitch has match last night, Rusev and Liv versus Bobby and Lana. Man, that was a good match. They had that towards the end of the show. I feel like that's something we can build. Now, I will say this to the following of the terms of to the terms of the following. It was a good match is one. Um the one thing I could like when it comes to Liv's outfit, I loved it. It's kind of reminiscent of Harley Quinn a bit. And if you don't see it. Well, I see it. It has a reminisce of Harley Quinn in a bit, in a way, but not all the way, in a way, because, you know, Alexa Bliss is the one with the Harley Quinn type, like, dual, sort of like the Harley Quinn, like, gimmick and thing. But it does have, a like, a Harley Quinn, like, gimmick to it. Now, the one thing that I that surprised me was when Leo Morgan went up and kick Bobby Lashley in the face. I went, yes, I loved it. And, like, she was bold enough to jump in and stop Bobby Lashley and stuff. Ooh, uh, Rusev has, has always su surprised me, but I really see um, um, Bobby and Alana should have lost last night and Liv and Bob and, Bob, uh, and Liv and Rusev should have won. Now, I think what should conspire from this, and I actually put this up on my Twitter. I have to go back and check it. But I put Rusev need to start flirting and kissing. First, start flirting with with Morgan. 
then start kissing her. And I think it will work. I mean, just with this storyline, it will work completely. Now, you saw um, Mojo Rawley last night. You know, he's the new 24-7 champion. And the same brothers thought they could get a pin over him. And it didn't work. I feel like they, they are going to put that title back on. Um, I feel, figure they will put that title back on... Um, um, our truth, but they gotta find a good, a good time, the right time to put it back on him. And I'm gonna say this: How many of y'all feel like he is putting a target on his back? I feel he's putting a target on his back. We're gonna have to see where this will go. So yeah. The next thing is, I think you kind of said this is sort of like a wrestling talk. Uh, what else went down last night? Um, yup, new tag team champs. Um, I feel like uh, Rankum and Arnum kind of distracted Kevin Owens and, and, and got rid of him and uh, Seth Rollins. But I feel like the way that they won was not a fair match because Seth Rollins... Um, cursed on, um, one of the guys on the outside, outside interference from him and the ref had his back turned. Okay. And that's where I'm going to start saying when it comes to title belt matches like this, I feel like it's neat. Now is in the WWE, they need to start having not one, but two referees in at the vicinity around the ring. One in the ring to call the action on the in the ring, and one on the outside of the ring to call action on the, um, to have the other referees back for he, for what he can see, for what they can see. That's that. The only criticism I can say for last night, ooh, that Rey Mysterio um, match should have been the main event and not the end of gender match. But, um, it was okay for the opening. But, I want to hear what y'all have thought of last night. Raw is war um, show and things. And I'll be back in a minute with another video. Until then, I'm Alicia. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.